bitch hot. Hello and welcome back. I am Big Nick Bart with the Big Nick Energy. We got a little drama alert. A little drama alert. None towards me, thank goodness. I took a couple days off of social media and I just been uh, watching and listening and just seeing what everybody's thinking. And honestly, it's not a lot of good stuff. So I kind of understand where all this energy is coming from. So Kendra Randall has come out basically calling out KFTV directly and saying, you guys support an environment that is hostile towards her, her family, her husband, and all that. And he, CP came out and tweeted, and I'll put all the tweets up. He tweeted back basically saying, you know, I don't condone any of that stuff. Like, you know, if, if you have a problem with social media, you should just put your stuff on private. And, you know, we don't tell anybody to come after you. It's just a byproduct of having a very large fan base that, you know, there's a lot of toxicity there. And we saw this with Holito and Ash basically arguing about the same thing, that the Knicks fans are very quick to go to that place, you know, to, to take it a step too far. And I think we saw that with Kendra Randall's Instagram post. I think she had like a Christmas Instagram post. All this stuff has been deleted since, so good luck getting your hands on it. But um, I know she had her Instagram post for Christmas that got a lot of negative comments under it that got a lot of you know toxic trolls and stuff coming out to try and basically you know lambast Randall and this and that so I I hear where she's coming from and especially lately because the Knicks have not been playing that well that she needs to actually say something so it can't be 100% peaches and cream all the time with us, you know, in the media, whatever, you know, things are wrong, things are bad. And I think a lot of the people who talk, like KFTV, like me and my channel here, we try to keep it pretty even keeled, right? We're not making too wild of takes. And I know CP even mentioned, you know, Stephen A pretty much goes wild with hot takes over Randall constantly. So it's like, why don't you go after one of these mainstream guys. And in that same vein, her tweets before to CP kind of were like, to me, kind of out, out of pocket, pocket because I don't know. I've never really, I've watched a bit of his show and there are some crazy takes there and there are some crazy people, but he never says, oh yeah, go to Instagram and talk to her family, you know? So... I don't know if going after him was such a great idea, especially because of the following he has. I thought maybe she should have went at Berman because Berman just had that article saying Julius's psyche is like messed up or whatever. And I'll put the, I'll put the quotes for that up, up as well. And he's saying, you know, Randall's psyche is messed up and whatever. It's basically a non article. He cites an NBA source, whoever that is, whatever that means, Berman so she actually retweeted to him after that game last night where Randall really went went off and played well. She tweeted at him, you know, him with his 40-something piece nuggets, you know, whose psyche's messed up. And that's fine, you know, and Berman even joked about it, okay? Yeah, that's funny. But I thought it was weird to go at... So so to go at Berman, yeah, all right, we all go at Berman. I, I, I'll post my, my tweets because I was annoyed with his article too, and I'm not even Randall. Or, or his his wife. So so I got that. But I didn't really understand the uh, KFTV slander going after them. So maybe somebody's got some receipts that I don't have. But the receipts that I did get and from what I do know of their channel is if people are talking crazy, you know, he even said it. If people are talking crazy, he boots them off. And it's, uh, it's, a, it's a family show. He's trying to make it so that it can be made into mainstream and I think he's doing a wonderful job with that and not inciting people to go over there and troll her and not letting people just say whatever they want to say about him. So somebody tweeted about how CP goes at him personally saying, oh, the mentality or the hustle's not there or whatever he says, whatever the narrative is, has been lately. And he's had to re- he had to 
delete that tweet because people dug up his own scathing stuff about saying the same thing about Randall. So it just goes to show, you know, the internet never forgets. And that's why on my channel, I'm trying to be a bit more positive. I try to say things that I would only say to the player or his family in person to their face because I don't, I don't, you know, want to use this as a platform to say, oh, whatever I want to say negative without any repercussions because, you know, they, they hear it, they hear it, even the smallest. So, so yeah, I try to stay pretty positive with it. And at the same time, you know, I don't think, I don't think KFTV said anything out of pocket, you know, really crazy. Just maybe, you know, his mentality and stuff like that, which we're all wondering about lately. So, hey, maybe the social media is not for you. So even CP said it, and I'm going to post the long clip after this. He even said it that, you know, turn yourself on private. Make it so people can't at you. You know, you can do all these things. You can delete all this. If I had money like that and standing like that, I would not be on social media. I would not. I wouldn't. Why? There's no reason to. There's no reason to. Unless you're trying to make money, you know, by marketing yourself and marketing whatever your post is, you know, affiliated marketing and all that. But that's because I need money. I, I think about those things, but they don't really need money. So like, shut it off, shut it off, take a step away. And if you can't take a step away, make a community, find people that support you the way you want to be supported and include them and exclude people who talk crazy and say stuff you don't want to hear. And I know it's a bit, you know, you make yourself into an echo chamber, right? That way. But at the same time, it's your mental health. You know, you gotta, you gotta take care of yourself. So listen, I don't want to keep dragging this on any, any further. I made some notes. Maybe I'll just mention that. I talked about Berman. I talked about all that stuff. So, all right. I asked my wife about this. What does she think about everything going on with this because at the end of the day the way she views it is doesn't matter how much money you have these people are still human so julius randall is still a human he has bad days he has good days and no matter money changes that so we got to have a little compassion and grace on both ends so while cp is not condoning people coming in on her Instagram or whatever and attacking Julie's attacking her. Maybe he's not renouncing it enough that would make her happier, you know, but at the end of the day, the way I view it is it doesn't matter what I say. No one's going to listen to me. And, and if I, even if I say, Hey, don't, don't be negative. People will still do what they want to do. So I think we have a bigger issue than just, you know, small, small platforms or even the large media. And it's just sad because that's what people want to hear. That's what sells is that crazy stuff. So that's why you get like Mark Berman. That's why you get ESPN saying any type of crazy stuff because that's what their fans want to hear. Unfortunately, that's the nature of it. And if you need to isolate yourself, insulate yourself, that's what you need to do. So, yeah, my wife says, you know, we're all human. Got to have compassion and grace, understanding so I'm going to say it, you know, for my channel that I do directly renounce, condemn people who go and attack players and their families directly. That be it in person, social media, any of that. That once you cross that line, you can't come back from that in my in my book, right? The way I see, see things. And that's why I, I strive to be positive and I strive to make a space where we can criticize the basketball, but I don't really want to hear you criticizing his wife or his kids or anything. I don't even know any any about th that stuff for a lot of these players. The only reason I know about Randall is because of the toxicity, people attacking his family. That's the only, so I never even saw, I never even saw that Instagram post or whatever. I just know of it. I know that you know people were taking screen grabs of some fans saying some wild stuff. And that's around Christmas time. Uh, of all times to be doing that stuff, that's the worst time, right? We're trying to be with our family and try to be loved and all that. So I think we'd all do well, you know, just to take a break from the social media stuff for a while. And I did. I took a little couple of days and it was great. Felt good. 
now I'm back, you know, talking about some drama and some nonsense. But it's only because she's fueling it. She's fueling it now by saying KFTV, all they do is to have a negative narrative. And that's just not true. They do say some negative stuff, but we all do. And we all try to not be that way unless you're, you know, one of these very, very negative people just for the sake of it. But, you know, I don't I don't allow those people in my space to take up time and take up pressure in my head to say, oh, you know, they're not going to like this or that or they're going to say something. And it sucks to hear that. It sucks to hear someone come into your wholesome Instagram post and have them say something out of pocket about your husband. Like, that's messed up. That's messed up. So I got compassion for you, Kendra Randall. I got compassion for you. But maybe take a little break. Take a little break from the social media. Take a break. Don't don't follow Mark Berman. Come on. Don't just don't follow him. Just don't give him any clicks. He'll get fired, right? Eventually. <laughs> if we all just stop paying attention. So I don't know. How do you feel about this stuff? Do you think Do you think Kendra was right? Do you think CP is right? Because I have not seen any any receipts that would show CP and his KFTV platform being overtly negative directly towards the human, the person, Julius Randall and his family and his wife. I've never seen that. And I'd really be curious to know if anybody has a receipt for that because so far it's just accusations and no receipts. And the receipts that I am seeing are bigger personalities and, you know, just the casual fan. So as a casual fan, do better, I suppose. Just try and stay a little more level-headed. Talk basketball. Don't talk about people's wives or families. I think that's all I got right now. So, all right. Let's transition into the actual... This is the next day reaction of CP the Franchise, KFTV. I took that clip directly from them. And he addresses it. It's about 13 minutes or so. If you don't want to watch it don't I summarized it fairly well but basically uh, it's it's uh it's almost like a chicken and an egg story I mean we had the same issue with Ash and Holito and we had the same issue now with Kendra and CP and I don't know there's really no solution because there's always going to be toxic people pushing the boundaries stepping out of pocket and just doing craziness because that's how they get their their kicks, I guess, you know, online. They do it anonymously, and it's half the time it's these real young people who don't really know any better. And we got to do better, I guess, as, as a society to educate our young people to say, hey, this isn't right. But it's hardly CP, KFTV, Mark Berman's, or even my own responsibility to police these people. It needs to start with the home, obviously. And then outside of that, yeah, I mean, call out your call out the person next to you. You know, if someone's doing something out of pocket, we need to we need to get more normalized to say, hey, that's not right. Maybe you shouldn't say that. Right. And I know that's like uh, could be considered white knighting or whatever, but that's just holding your neighbor responsible for something. You know, it's all right to do that, to say, hey, that's not cool, bro. Right. That's the whole dare. I think the dare initiative coming out. All right, y'all. So. My opinion is everybody would probably just do better to get off the social media, right? That's my opinion. If you don't want to hear it, make it so that they can't get to you. And the people who are doing it live or, you know, in the in the arena, you can point them out to security. Hey, this guy is cursing at me and saying some craziness. I would not look down on you for that. I would not look down on you. I don't think anybody would to say, hey, like that guy who spit on Trey Young, like that's not cool. That's not cool. I mentioned it the last time we talked about this drama stuff. That's not cool. Going to, to Kendra Randall and and I don't even know what they say, but saying anything out of pocket to her is, is just not cool. It's not. It's just not cool as a Knicks fan. It's not cool as a person. It's just not cool. You shouldn't do the things like that. So this is not a scathing review of any of you guys, I'm sure most of the people watching these videos are completely normal, regular fans who just want to see the team succeed. And to that end, I'll give you over to CP and his very pretty concise summary of his issue with it. And then form your own opinion. Let me know because honestly, this is an issue that's going to be 
here forever, I think, for the most part, because the the bigger you get as a star and the bigger you get on a, a big stage with which MSG, the Knicks, uh, New York City basketball is a big, big stage. The bigger that stage, the bigger the star, the bigger the trolls are going to come out looking for you. I, I swear half these people online are probably not even New Yorkers, not even Knicks fans. They're just sad people. They're just sad people. All right. And we're not trying to do that over here. We're trying to keep the positive energy up. So, hey, Kendra Randall, stop by my channel. Stop by my stream. What's up? What's good? I'm always spending, spreading that love, that positivity for you and your family and all of that. I hope people can start backing off you. But with this recent stuff, honestly, you know how people are. The more you say, please don't, the more they say, yes, I'm going to. So good luck. All right. Good luck. Take a break from social media. No one would blame you prioritize your mental health we saw ashley moss stepping away from kftv for the exact same reason all right it's difficult out here with all these voices who have the freedom to say whatever they want we live in a beautiful country but at the same time words hurt all right words hurt so let's be a little more guarded a little more careful a little more compassionate understanding and loving and also let's point the direction let's point the abuse to where it needs to be pointed and honestly the New York Post, ESPN, Mark Berman, Stephen A. Smith. You guys should be getting more of this slander than KFTV or Big Nick Burt, all right? <laughs> Especially not Kendra Randall, all right? So bless you, all right? Thank you so much for stopping by. Um, special shout out to, let me get the name. Special shout out to Shannon. I'm going to withhold the last name, but thank you, Shannon, for the screen grabs thank you for the timestamps on the video you saved me a lot of time and effort i am putting this one together before the video i was working on because you did have the legwork for me so i really appreciate that and if anybody else has information or a video they want to see get my ideas on reach out i'm here all right big nick burt with the big nick energy i'll hand you off to cp the franchise and uh you guys make up your own decision. What do you think? What's going on with these Knicks fans? Are we too toxic? Are we just giving a megaphone to those toxic people? Should we just all ignore them? Should we actively combat them? How can we do this? I don't think a Knicks fan police force is going to do anything. But we do need to do a little better, I think. But hey, that's all society as a whole. We're doing the best we can with what we got. And what we got is New York Knicks basketball. Thank you all. Today there there was a um, there was a news story that came out that said that uh, Russell Westbrook's wife was going at Skip Bayless and then uh, you know going after the fans for I guess she was receiving death threats death wishes. So now I jumped on Twitter because as you guys know you guys have heard it on this show year after year after year. I always say whatever our opinions are, keep it here. Don't leave outside the arena don't don't at when i mean the arena i mean this discussion you know where we're having this platform this platform for us to have our takes don't at these players don't at these families because now you're crossing the line you know these are still this despite these players struggles or, or great performances these are still world-class elite basketball players so it's always my opinion that once you cross that line and go at them now you're disrespecting that craft you know what i'm saying like that it's it's a level that we'll never be able to reach and so I don't take it that way, and I don't advocate for people to take it there with these players. So I came out with a tweet and said, look, this is disgusting behavior. Uh, you know, we, we can't have it and, and keep it inside the arena. Now, I leave the house, bro, come back home, getting ready to, to, to finish the second half of the night, and I get a notification from Julius's wife, who basically you know try to in in a sarcastic way question the sincerity of my tweet by basically saying uh do you as if to say do you keep these comments in my arena now my reply to that was basically you know personally yes i do you know i don't come at them personally i don't add her i don't add julius i don't jump in d i don't do any of that so i said yeah personally i don't and i told her i said look 
If you have receipts of me doing that, feel free to share it. Feel free to share it. All right. Now she claps back and she says, uh, a whole joke. You and everyone else like you creates a narrative that causes the pain that we go through. Save your BS sympathy tweet. LOL. I replied back. I said, look, I'm not sure what narrative I created. Sports commentary has been here since the beginning of time. How's what I'm doing any different? You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, yo, I don't take shots. She says, it's not about that. You create a negative narrative to try to pit players against each other, bro. Which contributes to what goes on and what fans think. You can't dog my husband other players for the past three years, then act like you care what families go through. And so my final reply, because bro, I'm, I'm not trying to go back and forth with somebody like this. Because in their mind, they already have their impressions of what we do here. There is a backstory to all of this, which I'm aware of. So I'm like, yo, you know what? I'm, I'm not even going to continue this back and forth tirade on Twitter because it, nobody's going to win. And so at the end of the day, I said, look, there's bad apples in all aspects of society. I've said several times on this platform that I don't support or condone the toxicity of the fans of people going at each other or people getting personal with plays and wives. And I said, look, the whole tirade at me is misguided. And the whole thing about, you know, I can't be sympathetic to what these players and their families are going through. I have a kid myself. I have a family. You know what I'm saying? Why, why would I want to see people getting death threats over sports, bro? So I just left it at is, as is. I said, look, despite everything, I wish them well. And I do, bro. It's God's honest truth because this is just sports. When he's playing well, I come on here and I talk about it in a positive way. When he's playing bad, I come on here and I talk about it in that way. The fans respect authenticity, and this is what we give them every night. This is why we have thousands of people watching us every night. It's not about coming here to watch us, you know, go off the rails and be toxic and be derogatory. No, people want a fair, honest take on the game. And this is why this is what we do, and this is why we have the amount of people that come in here and watch every night. Yes, callers will come in, we'll have our Debbie Downers, we'll have fun, da-da-da-da-da. You know, we'll have our usual cast of characters, always in respect, always within the boundaries. If people overstep those boundaries, you're out. This is a family show, bro, I mean that. So I don't accept derogatory language, I don't accept cursing. I barely, somebody on Twitter made a good point that was like, bro, you don't even read super chats that are toxic, and I don't. There's super chats that come in and say, oh, I wish so-and-so would stay injured. I wish so-and-so would get COVID. I don't even read that, bro. And they spent money. You know what I'm saying? Now, as I've told people before, Julius doesn't rock with the channel. That's no secret. Whatever it was, the criticism that's, that's came out of this platform over the years, he's watched it. He's caught wind of it. He watches the show. He didn't, know, he didn't like it. He didn't want to come on and do the interview. That's fine, bro. We, I, don't, I, don't need, I don't need Julius to come on to make this, this, this platform successful. This is a show that's going to be built for the fans, by the fans. It's going to continue before Julius, after Julius. That's it. So, so that's okay. So when people you know, were saying that you know, her energy was kind of misguided or she added the wrong person, nah, this thing has kind of been, been brewing for a little while. But nevertheless... As a public figure in sports, it's a spectator sport. It comes with the territory, the criticism, not the toxicity, not the derogatory language. The criticism comes with the territory. This is what you signed up for. I come on my platform. I call it like it is. I sign off and I continue with my life. I don't continue that afterwards outside of my arena. And I don't advise or or support people that do. But for her to come at me like I'm supposed to be like the toxic fan police, like I can't do that. I can't spend my energy on that. And at the end of the day, I've said it several times. I said it when Ash was on the show. 
these people choose, make the choice to go on social media for whatever reason, business, personal, whatever. If people are coming at you in that way, I don't support that. I feel bad. That's not how we should be living. But it's your choice. You can log off. Or if you have to be on, you can change your privacy settings, bro. It's that easy. Go take a look at some of these Knicks players on Instagram, on on other platforms. You can't even reply to anything that they post. They have it under control. They have it under lockdown. So why is that any different? Why can't anybody else do that? Why is that impossible for you? Again, I feel bad, but you have options. Don't come to me and say, oh, you have influence and you're just creating all these narratives and pitting all these plays against each other. Because that's not what I'm doing. I'm doing the same thing that they're doing on MSG. My guy Stephen A jumps out the window every single day that he can about the Knicks. You don't hear nothing about that. You don't hear nothing about that, bro. I'm doing the same thing that they do on every single platform. I'm speaking about the game. And it's even better here because we're, we're not a hot take platform, bro. We're not hot takes. We're, we're, not, about, we're not about generating stories and hot doubt. That's them. That's Skip. That's Stephen. They're there for that. We're not here for that. We talk about the game. We talk about the news. We talk about the rumors. Simple and plain. But it's, and it's not always going to be rosy. That just is what it is. It's not always going to be rosy. But when it's good, it's good. Because when I went on Kellerman for eight weeks straight, chopping his head off, what was I talking about? Julius, the MVP. Julius, the MIP. Julius is cooking. Julius, the all-star. Julius, all-NBA. Julius is better than Porzingis. We barely had a good record. Come on, bro. <laughs> you were out there on that one. Come on, bro. You know, some people thought you you look crazy out yeah, there doing that. going crazy for this team and, and going to bat for them. So, again... I don't bring those type of that that fringe element, but there's fringe elements everywhere, bro. We can't control it. That's playing whack-a-mole. I can't do that. I can't do that. And and the whole Brody thing with his wife, bro. I know Brody's brother-in-law personally. So when I seen that story, when she wanted to say, "Oh, how can you be so sympathetic?" I know the the Brody's wife's brother. I know him personally, bro. You know what I'm saying? So this is that's a whole other thing. So I'm I'm making a, a a reaction to that as a commentator, but also as somebody who knows the family through six degrees of separation. So that that that's just all I'm saying, bro. Like we this, but the, but here's the thing that that doesn't sit well with me is you yourself have a platform, and you coming out making these remarks about my platform we still trying to build we still trying to grow that can negatively impact what we're doing and that's not right i understand what they're going through this is a tough year for them and you know look bro i went to bat for them even this year when people used to call in after he had his kid and people like oh what's what's going on is it is it the newborn is it this and that bro i would never even entertain those conversations because that's not the lane that I'm trying to dwell in. I don't care. Like, just leave that family stuff alone, bro. I have a kid. I'm very protective about kids. I even made the remark that, like, I felt like the, all the attention that his kid was getting was kind of cringeworthy to me. I made that remark because I'm very protective over kids and the Internet and, 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 and how people carry on, bro. I said that on this show. I said that on Twitter. So... You know, and, and look, it's going to be expected, man. We're growing. We're, 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 we're a growing platform is going to get even bigger. And, and when that happens, problems arise. Criticism comes at you. It is what it is. You expect it. And so you, you carry forward. The good thing is, is that we have a tremendous amount of support and, and people um, support this platform respectfully and came to bat for me respectfully. And I definitely appreciate everyone that did that. But at the end of the day, I got to stand up for this because the, the, you know, statements that this is, oh, this is just a, a toxic place and you guys are sending all these fans, you're generating narratives. That's not what we do here. That's not what we do. 
And anybody that watches the show night in, night out knows that. We can't, we can't contain that fringe element. I can't control that. I can't go through everybody's replies and everybody's Instagram replies and, hey, hey, stop doing this. Hey, stop doing that. Yeah, I could do a PSA, but where, where is that really going to go? People are going to do what they do behind a keyboard, behind a screen. This is social media. This is the World Wide West. It's getting, it's getting worse and worse. So again, I'll close with this. My advice is stay off or just change your privacy settings so that the people that you don't want to hear from don't contact you. Simple and plain, bro. And that's it. I'm just going gonna, gonna to drop this whole thing. And that's just it, bro. That- Bert knows basketball, y'all. <laughs>